Uh, I'm going to go to a tough one before going to an easy one. All right. <laughs> so the tough one is recent rumors and reports about the battery deal with Samsung going south. Can you just give the summary and the implications and the opinions? I'll jump in. <laughs> so the big announcement was that, you know, Rivian and Samsung are not going to have a deeper partnership. And part of what it sounds like Rivian requested was kind of unfettered access to the manufacturing facilities. They wanted to be able to know uh, some of potentially the proprietary processes that that Samsung uses to create the cells. And for me, I, I immediately, I'm a Rivian fan, but I immediately put myself in the shoes of Samsung. And Rivian has announced that they plan to do some in-house battery manufacturing. So Samsung would basically be giving some of the keys to the kingdom mm. to an organization that they know is at least at some point going to be competing with them on on some level and i don't blame samsung at all for backing out what i'm really worried about is i do think that rivian needs a significant partnership with one of the big big battery manufacturers and now samsung has partnered up with Stellantis. Mm -hmm. We already know that SK Innovation is partnered up with Ford. And then, you know, LG has partnerships with GM. So where where is Rivian going to go? We do know that Rivian is still sourcing the cells for the R1 vehicles from Samsung. So it's not like Samsung slammed the door, but it seems like it really leaves Rivian in a compromising position. Um, and it sounds like, my opinion is it sounds like they tried to play their hand a little too strong there. Mm. Great summary and a uh, great job kind of laying out the implications here. Uh, Jimmy, do you have anything you want to jump in on? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't really have anything that's uh, worth worthwhile. It, yeah, I have nothing worthwhile. Well, and the other thing is there was a lot of talks about Samsung putting a plant somewhere in or around normal. Right. And things just went silent on that. And I think we now know why. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's a shame. I, you know, I kind of feel bad for the normal Illinois area community just feels like sometimes Rivian acts like they're much further along and bigger and badder than they are you know mm. they have this grown up big brother attitude instead of like they should have like this uh, very humble or just barely getting started attitude you know <clears throat> well I think I, something in this case I think this is an intentional you think it's I, intentional what do you yeah. mean by that? Like, I just think that we we have all of these contracts and we have we have X Y Z coming, and this is what you're going to do or oh. walk. Yeah. Well, the the other part of that report was that Rivian would not commit to a certain purchase volume, mm -hmm. which is also huge if you're talking about going into a facility in partnership with someone that will not commit to a volume that yeah. that puts you in a pretty tough position. Yeah. I mean, is Rivian going to be okay here or what? I mean, what's this going to do in three years? Is Rivian going to make it? Or are they going to be able to pivot enough and find the supplies they need to get through this or what? 
so Rivian will be fine, Kyle. Mm-hmm. However, we already know that battery constraint, battery supply constraint was going to be an issue in the shorter term anyway. So the potential implication is that Rivian can't reach the same type of scale that right. they they want to, need to, hope to, whatever the case may be. And as it relates to predictions, my my biggest prediction is a potential partnership with SK Innovation. And that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, Ford has a partnership there and Ford still has a significant vested interest in Rivian's success as long as they hold the stake that they do. Mm-hmm. And number two, with the new Rivian factory coming online in Georgia, that's where the SKI battery plant is going to be as well. Okay. So if if I had to cast a crazy prediction out there, that that is the one that logic leads me to. Mm-hmm. As far as the next topic I had on my list uh, was a video that I watched yesterday, kind of in the background, but uh, the all-electric Rivian R1T takes on the world's toughest toughest towing test. This is from TFL. What were the high points for you guys that you found interesting and that you want to talk about? All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is to be continued, so please do subscribe so you don't miss the next one. In the meantime, please do join us over at rivianstories.com. This really is a phenomenal community. It's the community for true Rivian fans and owners. You'll find a ton of great interaction and information, and you can even pick yourself up a t-shirt or sweatshirt. Thanks.